गुड मॉर्निंग डियर लर्नर्स माई सेल्फ ज्ञान प्रकाश यादव फैकल्टी स्कूल ऑफ मैनेजमेंट स्टडीज यूपी राजर्षी टंडन ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी प्रयागराज टूडे आई एम हियर विथ अनदर टॉपिक ऑफ ह्यूमन रिसोर्स मैनेजमेंट एंड दैट इज द ट्रेनिंग डियर लर्नर्स ट्रेनिंग इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दिस इज बिकॉज ऑफ द स्मूथ फंक्शनिंग ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन depends on how much employees are trained whether they are trained in the marketing they are trained in the human resources they are trained in the production or they are well trained in communication and other aspects of the organization so it's a very important for the organization that the employees should be trained so today we will talk about the training first of all if we tell what is the training so the meaning of the training we can say that training is a process providing a skill and knowledge to its present and new employees to perform their jobs more effectively so the training is a process the training is process what it is providing it is providing a skill and knowledge these two things to its present may be possible that we are providing the to the present employees or we are providing training to the new employees sometimes the present employees they also need the training because there are uh, so many changes who are taking place in the universe or in the environment and to fulfill the gap between the present job uh, position and the required job position training is required and as far as the new employees they don't know about the environment of the organization they don't know about the work culture of the organization or they does not know anything about the organization so the training is important for those people also another aspect that the training has is specific goals of improving one's capability capacity productivity and performance why the training is here it's because of the specific goal of training is to improve the capability of the employees capacity of the employees and the productivity and the performance after getting the training after uh, receiving the training the employees enhance their capacity their capability their productivity and the performance in the organization so the training is important for the employees the purpose of training is basically to bridge the gap between job requirements and present competence sees of an employee so the training is also to bridge the gap between what is the current position and what the competency uh, employee needed for the organization so by the training we can fulfill the gap between these two things needs of training there are some certain needs why we are organizing the training why we are providing the training to employees so first of all to increase productivity what the to increase the productivity means we are looking to increase the productivity maybe we are on some certain level and we want to increase the productivity so we provide the training a trained and well trained employee can produce the more products because he will be the expert in that in that situation and the productivity will be high to enhance quality uh, uh, once an employee is working on the organization so he is producing the products but it is very important that the qualities of the product should be very high if he is producing the quality products then it will be accepted in the market otherwise the products will be not accepted in the market so it's a very important to enhance the quality of the product and a trained person a person who is well trained he can enhance the quality of the product he knows the operations and methods how to produce so he can do better that's why he can enhance the quality so if you are looking to enhance the quality of product so the training is needed there to improve organizational climate trained employee can change the climate of the organization if an employee who is working in hr department he is a very good uh, communicator he can communicate very effectively uh, by the training if he is getting more uh, competencies 
and he is now doing more better communication so he can change the climate of the organization and apart not only for, uh, as the concern of the communication but other aspects other functions and other works if the quality is high the, the productivity is high so this can improve the organizational climate this will be the learning organization this could be a very uh, rich organization once the productivity is high quality is high so overall the training can improve the organizational climate to fulfill future personal need uh, the organization is made of the people there are so many personnel who are working in the organization and definitely they had some their personal their personal needs as a manager as an uh, of any department he wants to grow in his future in his career and there are so many needs he wants to communicate with his subordinates his uh, peer group or his uh, uh, other other people of the organization of the different department and different sections so there are so many activities and in out of these activities there are some personal needs and a personnel can fulfill his needs by the training he because again he will enhance his skill his knowledge and by his the talent his skill and knowledge he can fulfill his needs of the future to improve health and safety this is also uh, needed because of the people are working the employees are working on the organization so it is possible that if they don't know about the how to work on the machines and how to work on a dangerous situation so they may be get injured or if they are working uh, in the uh, sit, uh, position or at the layout there are some dust and fumes and other things are there so they may be the dangerous for their health and their safety so in this case a trained employee if he is trained with the uh, operations and other activities so he can ensure the health and safety and the next one that is the personal growth this is the personal growth earlier was the personal growth it is personal growth as a career everyone wants to enhance or to enrich his career so if a train if he is getting the training so he will learn and the, again the knowledge and the skill the ta- can even sharpen the skill and he can enhance his career his growth in the organization so for the personal point of view the training is also very important training steps after the training needs if i am defined the training needs what are the reasons why we are looking for the training so again is that the training steps what are the steps in the training analyze the training needs first of all we analyze the training needs as i discussed in the last slide what are the training needs and after that we can even analyze the training needs which one is needed which employee is needed for the training which department is needed for the training uh, where the performance is not up to the mark so we analyze these things and then we ensure that where the training is required then design the overall training program once we decide that uh, once we analyze the need means where is the need of the training so we even design the overall training program in the training program once we are designing the training program then we consider each and every aspect what will the content who will be the train how what uh, and what will be the method of the training every aspect we will design before launching the training program then develop the course yeah develop the course we develop the course what the content you will provide during the training uh, this is even once you go for the analyzing the training needs then we know that where is the requirement what uh, and then we develop the such type of course that can fulfill the training needs so develop the course and then implement training so the next step is that after developing the course we implement the training the employees are now getting the training the training program takes place in the organization whichever uh, uh, what type of need is required there whether this is the <coughs> on the job or the off the job so accordingly that we even implement the training program then the last one that is evaluate the course effectiveness it's a very important aspect you are doing any program you are doing anything but how much it was effective or how much it was useful it should be it should be uh, analyzed or it should be counted there it should be evaluated there once you are not going to evaluate the program so the program cannot get their objectives so 
if they are concerned about the program, that whether the program has got the objectives of the training or not. So it is very important that evaluate what was the drawbacks of the training program, what must we effectively achieve the, uh, our target. So that is uh, very important in the evaluation of the course effectiveness. The next one is the training methods. There are two types of training method by which we train the employees of the organization. The first one that is on the job training, OJT. On the job training is the training in which the training is provided to the employees during their job. They are working, they are uh, working on the machines, they are working at their workplace and the training is simultaneously provided to those employees. So that is on the job training. And the next one that is the classroom or off the job training. In this type of training, employee is separated from the work. He is not on the work and he learns the he, he learns the skill and knowledge he, by the training program or he learns the other things that are provided in the training to enhance the skill, their capacity, their capability to perform the job. On the job training, this was the first thing, what are the merits of the on the job training? Even both the methods are beneficial and according to the need of the training, uh, methods are uh, used. Sometimes we use the on-the-job method, sometimes we use off-the-job method. So what are the merits of on-the-job training? The trainee learns on the actual equipment in use and in true environment. The first, the merit of this training, on-the-job training uh, method is the learner l learns on the actual environment. He is working on the machines or he is working in the real uh, organization, in the real environment. And during that, he is learning the knowledge and his skill to enhance his performance. So that is a very good merit of the on-the-job training. Then highly economical since no additional personnel or facilities are required for training. It is highly economical because we are not arranging any separate provision for the training. The tra they are learning during the work, so no uh, additional personnel. Who will, who will get some, uh, who will charge some money. So he is not even involved in this type of training. And the facilities also are not even made to provide the training. So it is a highly economical method. The trainee learns the rules, regulations and procedure by observing their day-to-day -day apl application. During the work, they are learning the rules, regulations of the organization. And day by day they are doing the things and they are learning the things. So, it is a benefit of this method that the rules, regulations and procedures are learned by the employees. Appropriate method for teaching the knowledge and skill which can be acquired in a relatively short period. This is an appropriate method if you want to teach in a very short span of time. So, this method is important, this method is beneficial that the employees can learn or they can you can train the employees for the their needs. What are the demerits of this method? That is, uh, the first demerit is the highly disorganized. There is no such type of organization for the training. There is no organized plan to provide the training. So it is highly disorganized because the learner is learning at the workplace and at the workplace there are so many things who will not be in the order. So this is not a very uh, organized method, haphazard, that is again uh, the things will be here and there uh, during the work as usually happens in the organization and the employee is learning there so it is haphazard will be there, not properly supervised because the employees are on the work, they are working and others are also on the work, so not properly organized, not properly supervised, the supervisor is not even getting proper supervision or any aspect he will tell, or he will supervise any a special aspect and then he will leave the employee. So it's not very uh, properly supervised. They are learning, they are by seeing, they are watching, they are observation. The employees are learning and they are getting the training. Low productivity. As far as concern about the training outcome, so this is uh, a low productivity will be here in this type of training. This is the demerit of the on-the-job training because uh, continuity is not in this method. 
during the work the another will be work will be there or the employee will be engaged with another people so in that case there is a, a break up so continuously is not uh, he is getting training he is not uh, learning things so that's why when we talk about the productivity so it will, it will be less after this on the job training what are the methods how we can uh, provide the on the job training even this will be on the job the employee will be on the uh, job and he is getting the training so some specific trainers a specific methods uh, of the training will be here job instruction training during the work the employee will get the job instruction the instructor will be there and he will instruct to the employees during the job uh, during the job for his job that do this one do this not or go here and take this one so such type of instructions will be given regarding to the job vestibule training vestibule training is a training method in which we are uh, providing all the situations or the uh, things in a uh, in a space in a place where all the content will be there and an employee will complete his task at that particular place with the all instruments so that is the vestibule training then training by experienced workman this training is also very important that the an experienced person who is working for long in the organization and he will train to his new or the colleagues who are struggling with the training uh, struggling with the skill and knowledge they need the training so the this training is experienced workman will provide here training by supervisors the supervisors are also very good uh, observer of the personnel they observe the that this employee is struggling here and what is the loophole what is the weak point of the particular employee and the supervisor can provide the training that do this or do that he can instruct he can supervise his employees and he can provide that training that is the training is training by supervisors demonstration once we are providing we are the situations and the procedure of the work by the demonstration and employees will observe the they will learn by seeing by watching the object demonstration simulation again the everything is simulated in a place the work uh, culture the work uh, uh, environment or the problem that is arising in the environment or the skill and knowledge where the employees are struggling they are simulated in a space and the employee learn with that that is the simulation apprenticeship apprenticeship is again a type of on the job training where the employee get uh, an employment for one year or six month or any duration and in that time of duration employee will learns the skill and knowledge what is required for that particular job and he also do the job and in this in this type of training he is also getting the payment for that particular job the another method that is the classroom or of the job training this method is once the employee is not on the job he is off the job he is separated from the job but he is getting the training he is uh, provided by the training so this uh, uh, the first method that is the lectures we are providing the lectures to the employees as here the one lecture is going on so the employee can learn by the lectures so all the need all the employees who are who need the training they are uh, collected at a at a place and a person deliver the lecture on that particular issue the particular topics where the employee is struggling so the lecture is lectures are a method the another is that is the conferences we organize the conferences on particular issues where is the problem whether it is in the operation whether it is on another any other another aspect so we made the conference and during the conference so experts and other people discuss about the topic and to solve the problems group discussions this is another uh, method where the employee is not on the work but they are discussing with some certain of group uh, and they solve the problems and they overcome with the issues case studies this is a very good example this is very a strong method that the a case of a different uh, organizations what happens in the previous years or with the same situation or the same problems they are studied by the employees or the peoples and they get the solution by the case studies what was the why it was wrong why it was uh, right so they discuss all the aspects and what should be the exact or the appropriate decision they discuss in the case studies 
the role playing this is another method when when uh, the employees play as a role maybe anyone is working as a manager another is the subordinate employee the peer employee so the different different people play a different role in the organization and this is a very good exercise that how uh, to check uh, uh, the communication skill of the employees as well as the decision making of the employees so these uh, method uh, this method is very important in such type of activities program instruction program instruction is another uh, type of of the job training where in which uh, the employee get the instruction regarding the job what uh, how they will do this one how, what will be the uh, precautions they will take the, at the place during the work so these are the instructions are here and the, they learn the program training program and this uh, t group training this is a group of the people who are getting the training and uh, out of these people few will be uh, very competent that they can tell something uh, to other their colleagues their fellows so the t group training this is also on the uh, of the job training in which they learn the training by their t group so uh, dear learners this was the uh, lecture for today's about regarding the training i discuss uh, about the training needs and methods on the job of the job methods and needs of the uh, why the training is needed for the organization the this was basically training and which is provided to the employees of the organization another uh, thing is also that is the executive development or the development which is also organized in the organization um, but this is for the top level management or the people who are involved in the strategy formulation or the decision making in the next lecture i will discuss about the executive development thank you thanks to all of you